Yeah, assalamu alaikum. Uh, good morning, students. Uh, it's good to have you uh, once again. Uh, this is um, the third lesson for grade four computer studies. I remain your humble uh, Mr. Adinka, your computer teacher. Yes, um, today we'll be looking at types of computer cables and their uses. If you could remember, in the previous lesson we talked about computer cables, uh, which is said uh, to be wires that are running side by side, bonded or twisted, uh, to uh, form a single assembly. Uh, wire is not something that is so uh, uh, new to us. Uh, wire is what we see everywhere. But the particular wire we're talking about, or cable we're talking about, uh, in this regard is the major one that is designed to be used with a computer system, which is why we call it uh, computer cables. Okay? Um, we discussed about computer cables last week, um, which I gave examples of computer cables. But today, we are going to look at um, the types uh, of computer cables and their uses, uh, which is part of what I taught you in the previous uh, lesson. So computer cables can look similar and can sometimes be confusing. Yes, they can look very similar and sometimes they can be very confusing. And um, computer cable differs depending on the purpose for which they are manufactured. Mm? Yes, it differs well, depending on the purpose uh, for which they are manufactured. One, let's look at um, the types and their uses. We have um, USB cables and connectors. USB cable and connectors. Talking about USB cable, uh, this, in fact, the design of these USB cables uh, is what has taken over every uh, of computer devices these days. Okay? Because in those days, uh, if you look at um, uh, the bridge, okay, no, sorry, Talking of scanner cable, printer cable, mouse cable, keyboard cable, and so on. Uh, in those days, they have a particular uh, port, I mean, uh, connector, in which is quite different from uh, what we use currently. It's, they are called uh, PS2 cables. Okay? These cables uh, are quite different from the current one we use these days. The very one we use these days, uh, I can say we can call them universal because the majority of computer devices these days make use of USB cable. You understand? So this USB cable, that is why I actually want to lay more emphasis on this USB cable. USB simply means universal serial box. Okay? Universal serial box. These cables are used to connect new devices. To the computer okay they are used to do what to connect new devices to the computer uh, like i said earlier uh, in those days we the computer keyboard mouse and the light make use of a different connector but now the recent keyboard or the new uh, keyboard now majority of all in fact let me say all of them make use of usb connector Mm, because you know uh, quite well that technology is developing on daily basis. Alright? So, USB cable. Huh? Uh, like I was saying, the USB cable comes with different kind of devices. Okay? Be it the keyboard, be it the mouse, uh, even um, the external hard disk drive. Huh? The connector that is used or the cable that is being used to connect such devices to the computer system are called USB cable. And sometimes you can also call them data transfer cable because uh, once the, it is being connected together with the, between the hard uh, disk drive and the system unit, then the cable will serve as an intermediary that connects both parties together and collects data from one party to the other. That is from uh, the external device down to the system or from the system to the external storage device okay so now let's quickly look at um, audio cables and connectors 
before I move further, before I quickly go to the audio cable and connector, you see this is a system unit, uh, which I believe you all know. And you can see this is USB port. Alright, this is USB port where uh, the USB cable is to be connected. You can see this is the mount of a USB cable. You can see. So, and look at the port where it's to be connected. Then you place it like this and push it in. Okay, it's as simple as that. Then the audio cable is a connector. The audio cable is uh, a tiny um, port or a tiny mount uh, cable that is used to connect audio of uh, any uh, computer devices that uh, give out uh, audio output. Then the connector for that is here. You can see uh, is in uh, circle form. Okay, and you can see a sign of a headphone here. This indicates that this is where you connect your audio cable. Okay, then what we have again, we have data cables. Yeah, in this regard, you could remember that while I was talking about the USB cable, uh, it serves as the data cable. The data cable is actually talking about the cable that transfers data from one computer to another, or from one device to the other, from one device to the computer system such as um, an external drive. When you, when you are connecting an external drive to the system, you need to make use of a data cable. Okay? You can call it data transfer cable or you call it a data cable. Okay? It uh, transfer data from one computer to another or from uh, a storage device to the computer system or from the computer system to a storage device. Then we have what we call power cables. The power cable is what we used to connect uh, or to transfer electricity from the power source to the computer system. It is what gives power to the computer system in a nutshell. Okay, and this is it. You can see this is the, the side that is being connected to the back of the system unit. And if you look at it, this is the system unit here. You can see this is the port where this cable is being connected to. All you do is this, you take the, the cable, place it there and you push it inside. Then you connect the other part to the power source. You can see, it looks like it's just like a normal socket. But it is just the head that's needed to be uh, plugged to the system unit that is different entirely. Okay? So that is um, the power cable. Then we have what is called the VGA. The VGA, that is Visual Graphics Array or Video Graphics Array. Then that uh, is a signal cable. We can call it signal cable or you call it a VGA. It is uh, a the cable that supply or that um, gives signal to the um, computer monitor. Okay, in order for a computer user to be able to see what uh, is inside the system or what you are doing at any point in time. You can see this is the port, this is the head rather. Mm? This is the head of the plug, okay? The head of the cable. Then where it's being connected, if you look at the back of the system unit, you will see, you can see, uh, it's in blue uh, color. Mm? This is the connector of a VGA, the computer VGA. Okay, you can say video cable, you can call it video graphics array cable or VGA cable. Look at the, the mount of the, the, the cable, then you can see the port. All you have to do is just like what you've been doing, but in this, in this uh, regard, you have to look at, because you can see it has pins. Okay, and if you look at the back of the system unit, you can see there are holes. Okay, with which you have to position it properly, because if you don't do so, you can make mistake and damage the cable. So you have to look at the direction. You can see the direction of this uh, mount and the direction of the uh, connector. Then you do what? You check, make sure it balance. You place it on top of it and push it inside. That's all. If you don't get it correctly, you can easily damage 
decay. So that is that about um, the VGA. Also, we have uh, listed on the board the mouse cable. Anyway, I will not um, talk much on this because uh, you can remember from the beginning I made mention of the USB cables and their connectors, which uh, I say which it is. It means I mean it talks about being used to connect new devices to the computer. The USB cable nowadays uh, comes with mostly all computer devices. Okay, you know if you could remember in the old days I said. The connector of the mouse and keyboard are different entirely. But later, in the later date, uh, they designed this keyboard and the mouse to make use of uh, the USB. Okay, so this is uh, the U mouse cable. And another one here, printer cable, uh, that has uh, like two different heads. It has a head like this and the other, other head like the USB. Okay, then scanner also. So scanner also has uh, a different head from the top like this. Then the other side uh, a USB head. So uh, I think that is all for the topic for today. Types of computer cables and their uses. Okay, if you go through it one after the other, you go through it one after the other, you get uh, what I'm actually saying. Then uh, before we go, I would like you to look at this, which is the revision questions. Number one says dash dash differs depending on the purpose for which they are manufactured. What is that? You provide an answer. The number two says dash cables are used to connect new devices to the computer. These uh, questions are very uh, simple. If you go through the notes uh, properly, okay. So that's that about the lesson for today, uh, and I'll be expecting your response through my. WhatsApp number. Okay, your response of the expecting you through my WhatsApp number. So thank you uh, and have a lovely day till we meet again. Thank you.